Hi, well, I'm back to acrylics now for the next half 45 minutes or so. I've uh, got my stay wet palette, still on the, uh, the, the sheets of kitchen towel underneath the membrane. This is the Masterson stay wet palette. They supply membranes but they, they rot after a while. And if like me you, you keep your, or you want to keep your paints going for days on end. These have been on for about a week, give or take. I've added a bit, but rather than soaking the paints, as it is with, with, with too much water in a sponge that I had underneath here, uh, the three or four layers of kitchen mould underneath it seems to be just about perfect. So there we are. Uh, colours are colours. What I've done here, and I don't know if you can see, see, I'll zoom in on it. Oops, that's not zooming in, is it? All right, let me focus. That's... Right, you'll see it's very, very rough. I've put two lots of plaster of Paris mixed with PVA glue, diluted. Um, the first layer I brushed on, as you, you still see some brush marks in it. And then I, when it was dry, I did it again, but I, I used this old household brush and I, I put the plaster of Paris on the wet PVA glue and I sort of did that and just worked it in. So I've got a really rough surface. It's going to probably be terrible for the brushes, but, but hey, very young ones. Right, okay, so I'm going to use a bit of PVA glue now from my little pot and some light red. Just want to put some, some tints here and there. Give a nice sort of shiny surface. And some, we're going to have some black. Just going to sort of paint a, a rural scene, perhaps a bit of snow, I don't know. Um, just put in some, some colours and just try to, to abstract all this. Um, so I'll work at this until I get an idea of where I'm going. I'm not working from anything. I've just sold a paint, I think it was called First Snow in Norfolk or something. Somebody likes it enough to buy it. But I like the rough, the rough stuff. You know, I'm trying to go really as loose as I can while still having fun with the, with the paint. And so that, that's, that's the cadmium red from the, from the, uh, the Wilkinson's cheap material, and that's the light red, so there's not a lot of difference in colour, it seems. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's put in some nice landscapey colours down here, a bit of white. I'm going to put some stuff in here. But if, if you paint dark, then it's easy to paint the light over the over the top of it. But this is also adding some more sealer to the, uh, the board. I'm just killing. I'm killing the canvas really, or killing the board with a lot of colours. As it dries, it will start to take dry brush, scumbling the top over the top. I want to sort of uh, a sort of snow scene but I want lots of colour in it. I'm just, just saying, I'm just working away at this until we get something of note coming in. Uh, right, let's clean the brush. I put my, my 
latex gloves on because then my fingers are getting a bit dry and split from all the water that I've been sticking them in doing the acrylics. I'm enjoying the acrylic painting. I know some of you pure watercolourists are a bit frustrated with me doing doing these, but try to please everybody. Okay, let's get some. No, it's a colour in there. Blues, reds, browns, yellows, primaries. Just get that nice and wet there. That's a bit of black. Put in the holes, or put in the paint into the into the texture. Ooh, that lovely texture that is. Oh, that's uh, quite exciting. Right, uh, some foliage. Got that yellowy green. Yellow, greens, oh, weather forecast. I'm listening to the radio. I, I always listen to the radio when I'm painting. I don't listen to music because I used to used to try that, but I start painting in time of the music and it will all go wrong and I'll get very angry. So I only use. Uh, Listen to a, a, a talk station, LBC, if you want to know. You can get it in USA. It's uh, London Broadcasting Corporation. Very newsy, up to date, opinions, people phone in, and very engaging. I only half listen to it. I'm concerned about. Uh, talking to you and concentrating on what I'm doing. Oh, a nice bit of, bit of orange here, a bit of warm. It's when these, these things go into a frame. Alright, now I'm just going to concentrate on the sky. Let's change my brush. Oh, I'm enjoying this. I did a watercolour before, before this one. And uh, I'll uh, upload that first, so you'll be happy with the watercolours. Well, it's no sky. Get that in there. Don't like that colour there. So if you don't like something, just change it. Uh -huh. Right, now let's get a nice bit of light on that. Horizon there, that's gone a bit greeny. Don't like that. Okay, so a bit of light red, a bit of cabin red, yellow. Sort of sunset. Don't like that colour there. Nice bright yeah. colours on here. Carry that through. Right, bit of dark. Now I love black. I love black. Oh, that's looking very gay, isn't it? Um, more black, more black, more black, uh, black, 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 black. Uh, oh, I'll use my new black, black. Uh, 
No, I need something to fill that in, but I want to put, I can see some white going in there. Well, sort of an offy white. I'm not a lover of time lapse, I don't know how to do it myself, I don't really want to do it. And I tend to, when I come up against time lapse, I, I don't really pay too much attention. I, which is a shame really, there's nothing to do with quality of work, it's just that I don't like it. Right, let's get some lights in through here. Uh, well, let's put a bit of light in the sky. So I've got red, yellow, white. Well, there's my palette. I'm so, I hope I'm not masking it. Oh, nice, nice light. See how that's leaving the the hollows in the in the priming. Okay, now, uh, Sky Over Morton Hall Park, I have to call it local stuff because that's where I ride my bike with my mates and I'm always looking at skies. This doesn't look like Morton Hall Park, of course, it's, uh, it's just an abstract, but, but I like these. I'm, I'm getting some, a real kick out of doing this. I've got a really bright green now, a bit black. Bit of yellow, just sort of in here. Put my black back, that's a bit too green. Okay. Uh, now, if there's, if there, there's sort of obvious uh, bad patches that you don't like, just change them. I don't like that there, and I don't like with that line going down there. So, just going to put a bit of light here. And... Right, okay, so we're doing more than that. <coughs> Friends in for dinner tonight, so I've got hoovering to do. Uh, the uh, Six Nations rugby starts this afternoon, so I'll be watching that with my mates. Okay, now that doesn't show too, too much, so. So that's a bit of a. Oh, back to reality there, isn't it? But anyway. Okay, so that's uh, the park or something. I'm going to put that in a frame. It's pretty dry around the edges, so it should be alright. And we'll have a look in my silver frame. I've got a pair of silver frames. And they came from a gallery. They had my I, I, the Sackville Gallery, it was a, ever since a nice man who, who ran it, but he didn't want to renew the lease two or three years ago. And he had a number of my paintings framed, and he was selling them on a regular basis, but he, he decided he would just stay, stick to framing, and he got premises across the road. And sadly, I had to pick all my paintings up, but we swapped, I swapped a, an oil painting for all the ones with the frames. So it's all back, which was a good, good deal both ways, I think. But bit by bit, these won't probably see the light of day. They'll get dirtier and dirtier. And uh, won't be worth a, a dime, but they're nice to show my pictures. I'm just going to put a couple of tacks in here, so bear with me, talk among yourselves. 
Get the tapering out. So there we are, we have an abstract of a... Ah, oh, oh. uh, it's come out of the fine. Right, excuse the swearing. Right, I'm going to have to do that and it was solid. It's got a cord across the back of it. Tax in far enough. Right, okay, start again. Oh, it hasn't damaged the phone, that's all right. Uh, so, if I could pause the video and carry on, oh, I'd be all right, but it, I can't, it starts a new video. Yeah. Well, there we are. We've got a got a pretty picture. I reckon. Let's. Uh... So that's my version of an abstract of a of my local park. An impression, total impression. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.